Hello, are you here, beloveds? I am fully here this morning, super excited to be here. We're just checking technology. Let me see if I'm, if I'm live. I see me live over here, this is good news. Please say hello, I'd love to hear who's here with me. Oops, let me see here. It says I need to sign back in so I can see who I am. Technology, right? We're just right here. So please, while I'm getting myself logged back in, I would surely love to see who is here. Tell me, tell me, tell me who is here. Tell me what you've done this morning so far. Did I catch you on the couch? Did I entice you with the photo of the cat with the bag with the bag on its head. If you're like, what are you talking about? Yay. Good morning. Good morning. Who is peace for all? Who are you? I want to know. But hola. Hola, buenos dias. ¿Cómo estás? Me da gusto saludarte. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Who else is here? Okay, getting myself all logged in. It's Saturday. Let me see what I got here. For some reason, I got logged out on my other computer. So as you're just getting here, get yourself all settled in. Say hello. I want to see who's here. I want to know what, you're, what you've been up to this morning. What time is it in your, your world? Where are you coming from? Oh, Karen. Yay, Karen and Baja. <laughs> hello and thank you. I'm Nancy from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, yay. Muy bien. Ahora, Nancy, tú vives en Buenos Aires? Dime, dime. Oh, you guys, isn't technology absolutely incredible that we can do this? You have no idea. I mean, I could go on and on, um, but I need to figure out my, my password. I had to change it for Gmail. So let me see if it, if it, worked all right i'm not on screen server so i'm gonna hop on over here just tell me who's here tell me who's here tell me what you're up to while i'm getting myself situated let me see it's gonna be right here i'm just sure of it keeping on top of all these things Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, that's telling me that's not right. So what do we got here? Well, Let me try this over here then. Hang on. Hang with me, beloveds. Hang with me. As you're all showing up, there we go. There we go. Look at that. I just needed to log in well. Super. Super duper. Okay. So here we are. Honored. Okay, so who's here? So Nancy's from Buenos Aires. Karen is coming from Baja. Maria from London. You are not just waking up, are you, Maria? Vicky, good morning from snowy Moscow, Idaho. Looking forward to learning wonderful insights from you this morning. I'm so grateful you guys are here. Debbie from Eugene, Oregon. There you go. You're all showing up. Keep on showing up. Keep on coming. You still have time in these moments to go ahead and forward any of this information or forward the link, your invitation off to some of your friends if you want them to uh, join us. That would be awesome. All right. And we're going to jump right on in. So I am, as you know, I'm here in Mexico, or maybe you don't know that. And I'm in a city called Merida in the Yucatan, and I actually moved here to Scout Land to build a retreat center, which is one of the reasons that I'm here today. And that's because in all transparency, it is my huge and deepest desire to continue to 
I mean, the, the buzzword empower comes to mind, but it's, it's how, I mean, I just want more women to feel what I know is possible and what I see is possible all the time. So I'm just right here today uh, to support you in any way that I can. I'm here to answer any of your questions. I invite you and invoke you to show up completely and entirely to ask your questions, to chime in, to keep on coming back. I'm gonna be calling you back and calling you back. And I'm just grateful you're here. I'm grateful that um, you have some sort of impetus somewhere within you to say, you know what, I, I'm ready for more and I'm ready to learn and I'm ready to grow. And so you're right here for, for all those reasons. And that is just an honor. And look who's here. So we have, we have Sarah Christine, who is an incredible musician, by the way. So, uh huh. So when we talk about when we get to the third pillar, uh, Sarah Christine, your work just comes straight to mind for me. So um, I want Sarah. If you're there, which I know you're there because you just subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to put your website right here in the chat so that people can find you. But I, I'm going to ask you to wait, save it until the end, if you would, please, so that people don't go running off and getting distracted. But I'm going to call I'm going to call that out again. And if I forget for some reason, please just you remember at the end of our time together, I want you to put put your link here so that folks can find you because your work and what you do and your voice and your power is is phenomenal. Um, okay, so there's Debbie Stratton from Eugene, Teresa from LaGrand, Mary Lynn O'Brien, Denise from Portland, Oregon. Look, you guys, you're all just showing up here, and I'm super grateful you're here. So just know that, um, ay, ay, ay. there you go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so just know that um, if you're on, if you're, if you're watching me from Facebook, you might have a harder time um, commenting. So you'll need to actually give permissions for Streamlab. It's kind of a crazy thing, give permissions for you to be able to speak, but we're going to just get going. You can always just send me an email and I'm happy to answer that email later as well. I'm going to hop in here. Let me see if I can do this while we're on. I'm going to actually put this also right there. Good. There it is. I'm gonna save these changes. There we go. Okay, so you're all showing up. Super grateful you're here. Karen Steele is here. You guys, we're coming from all over the globe. We're coming from all over the world. Starla Fortunato. If you guys like the photos that you see of me, 90% of those photos um, were taken by the glorious Starla Fortunato. And her, oh, she is, she is all that. Um, when I speak a little bit later about Margie, you'll see Margie, you'll see photos of Margie, who's one of my students and soul sisters. Um, Starla's right there with her, one of those powerhouse, incredible women. Okay, so I could just sit here and toot your horns all day long, uh, and I would love to do that. And what I'm going to do is jump right on in. So I'm gonna take us over here and let me get out of here, make sure, pull you right out of there, and I'm gonna get to showing you my stuff. Here we go, we're gonna add the stream. I'm gonna get right over here. There it is, and I'm gonna hit play slideshow. All right, so technology isn't my huge thing, but um, teaching and sharing this work most definitely is. So I am super grateful to be with, your, be with you here this morning on a Saturday morning in my pigtails and my uh, exercise gear. I thought, you know, I could get all pretty and shiny, but I'm just gonna show up real because that's, that's how you get me. So today, I'm here to share with you what I'm calling the four secrets that every woman needs to know and nobody's talking about. Unveiling the secret and simple ways that you can change your life for the better from the inside out. So why do I say these are four secrets and why is nobody talking about them? because we are very much a slap it on, what's the next quick, quick fix? What's the way in which that I can feel better for a moment for right now? And that's why we've seen through COVID that alcohol consumption has gone way up, right? That body weight has gone 
up as well. We definitely see this. It's because we're looking for the next quick, the next quick fix. And what I'm here to say is that the four secrets are really what I will be calling the four pillars, which we'll get into. And those four pillars are essentially your foundation for what it is and what it takes for you to live your best life. And I'm also here to say that those things do not need to be hard work. They can actually be a ton of fun and they can be something that you're excited about every single day. Okay, so in this webinar, I'm going to teach you the four secrets for living your best life. It just started to rain, so we're gonna hear some ambient noise. Uh, it's hot here, it's like 86 degrees, so I'm welcoming this rain. Anyway, in this webinar, I'm going to teach you the four secrets to living your best life. And I promise you that by the end of our time together, you're gonna learn how to identify these pillars in your own life, in your own world, and you're also going to see how you can use them to live a more inspired, more resilient, and more impactful life. Now, if you stay with me until the end of this particular uh, journey, this particular one hour session, you're going to get a copy of what's called the dessert for breakfast. If you choose to work with me, if you choose to carry on with me now, I'm going to tell you what's going on here. I'm going to be totally transparent. I'm here to teach you today something that is standalone and rich and potent and pure gold. What you get out of this next hour just comes straight from my heart. And I promise I have no strings attached. I have no agenda for you to join me for the program I'm going to tell you about. My agenda for you is for you to rise into your next best and highest evolution. This is one of the ways that you can do that. Dessert for Breakfast is a little cookbook that I wrote, and Starla can speak to this. I am all about creating little desserts and nourishments and treats that are so nourishing for you that uh, they would and so incredibly delicious that you could give them to your most particular guests and they'd be like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And you're gonna say, I don't even wanna tell you what, what's in it because it is so healthy. I don't want you to think it should taste worse than it does. So this is desserts for breakfast. It's just my little, my little booklet, my little cook booklet of sweet treat recipes, recipes that are scrumptious enough to serve your guests and nourish enough to eat anytime. And you'll get that if you stick around for, till the end and decide you wanna take the next step with me. So here's what I offer. Turn off all of your distractions. Run and go potty if you need to go potty. Get yourself your piece of paper and a pen. Get yourself all snuggly in. Cup of tea, whatever it is for you, so that you and I can be right here together. And I'm going to keep on calling you back. All right, so we're going to jump right into the gold. This is one of my all-time favorite exercises that I use. So any time in my life that I'm like, you know what, I... Ooh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting caught in the woods. I'm falling away from my own self-care. I'm not exercising as much as I know is good for me. Uh, no serves me best, is best for my body, my mind, my heart, my spirit, which I have determined for myself what that is. I have determined through the practice through many years, I'm 50, through the many years of uh, self-studying, I know what sort of exercise is good for this body, for this Brit body. I know what sort of nutrition is good and works for this Brit body. It's not the same for everybody, but these practices will help you determine what is best for you. So this is my favorite exercise. So what you're gonna do is on a piece of paper, a big piece of paper, if you will, like a full-size piece of paper, you're just gonna draw two intersecting lines. Draw a vertical line and draw a horizontal line. And then you're going to write in each of the quadrants one of these words. Do, think, feel, and know. That's it. Super simple. You just draw your two lines and you write as I did here. Do, think, feel, and know. Then in each of the quadrants, you're going to write what you are currently doing, thinking, feeling, and knowing. Okay? So I'll give you an example, and I, you can see my words here in, in this presentation. So what do I do? I run three days a week. I meditate daily. I pray daily, probably hourly, momently. <laughs> I, I eat vegetables as the bulk of my, my diet. I drink consistently water. 
I practice yoga four days a week probably now. So less than I have in years past when it was my main focus. Now I'm focusing a little bit more on some cardiovascular. I just know that to be true for me now. I receive massage at least twice a month. I do chiropractic at least twice a month. I oil my feet before I go to bed every single night. Other things that I do, I uh, give myself a two hour media fast before I go to bed at night. Netflix doesn't always count. Uh, I go to bed before 10 p.m. every night. I rise in the morning before 6 a.m., ideally five. So these are some of the things that I do, right? So if we just start with that one, you might go, oh my gosh, I'm not doing any of those things. Like my life is a shit show. I'm not, I'm not doing those things at all. I, have, I can't even compete to compete or compare with those things. Never you mind. First of all, comparison destroys cellular intelligence, right? If you didn't hear me, if you missed that, come on back to me. If you're multitasking, come on back to me because I want to say it again. Comparison destroys cellular intelligence. Like that's a huge thing to know. And when our cellular intelligence starts to go away, then our cells are no longer being responsive to viruses, to blood, blood sugar changes, to, I mean, I could go on and on and on. So we want to be responsive. We want the body to be responding every single moment. Now, what's happening now, 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 now. So if you see, I'm not doing any of those things, never you mind, write down what you are doing. So let's say what you write down is, I'm drinking two or more glasses of wine every night. I'm drinking two or more cups of coffee every morning. I'm binge watching Netflix. I'm doom scrolling and I'm worried and anxious and da, 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 right, doing all these things, right? I'm having emotional outbursts in my relationship, like whatever that is. Don't worry about that. Just be honest with yourself. Be totally truthful with yourself. And because here's the thing, now what you're gonna do in that same quadrant is you're gonna write, what could I be doing? Oh, I could be getting up at six in the morning. I could be going to bed by 10 p.m. I could be oiling my feet every night. I could be giving myself a two hour media fast, right? I could be doing those things. So you do that in each quadrant. Don't worry about what you're doing right now versus what you're not doing. Put them all in the same thing. Just put them all there, right? Now, what are you thinking? So things that I'm consistently thinking is I'm excited about my life. I'm honored to live the life that, I'm, that, I've been, that I've been given. It is a miracle. It is a miracle that I've been given my breath today, that I'm sitting right here right now. It is a miracle. I'm also thinking, I wonder if that heel spur has anything to do with what's going on in my right hip. I'm also thinking, is there something else that I can do for this most recent surge of hot flashes that comes over me in the night? I'm also thinking, you know what? I'm pretty joyful about going through the change, right? So whatever it is, I'm also thinking uh, as an example, like what's meant for me can't be kept from me so I can relax here, right? So what are you thinking? Or are you thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to get through this next day? Oh my dear Lord, I am so overwhelmed. I am exhausted. Oh my gosh, I'm drinking way too much. Oh my gosh. My adrenals are wiped out. Oh my gosh, my relationship has gone to hell in a handbasket. Like, what are you thinking? It's so the same thing. You put all the think, the thinking things in that quadrant and you also put all the things that you could be thinking, right? And you do the same thing in feeling. Do I feel relaxed? Do I feel hopeful? Do I feel trusting? trusting? Do I feel abundant? Do I feel devotional? Do I feel connected? Or do I feel overwhelmed? Do I feel exhausted? Do I feel burnt out? Do I feel frustrated? Do I feel hopeless? You write those things there, right? And then you write all the things that you could be feeling. Then what are the things that you know? Like, what are you things that you know in your bones and in your blood? What I know is everything is impermanent. I know that. Life teaches me it every day. I know that when I am well in here and in here and in here, I see 
and I move toward goodness in the world. I know this. Now, wellness is different than healthy. So in other words, when I find balance and harmony within my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit, then I seek out balance and harmony in the world. And that plugs me into a source that is greater than me, plugs me into a source that is greater than me, and it makes it nearly impossible for exhaustion or hopelessness or resentment or anger or fear to be the emotion that's carrying me. It's, the, it's not the, those are not, that's, they're not in the boat with me. They might be in for a minute, but then they jump ship because they don't get fed. So these are things that I know. I know in my bones. So now you go through each of these quadrants. Your exercise piece is you circle one thing in each quadrant that if you brought that one thing into your life today, if you started doing that one thing today, that that would make the greatest and most potent impact in your life at large. So come on back to me if you're multitasking. Come on back to me and please write in the comments what it is. What's the one thing that you could be doing that you could be doing today, right? That would make the most powerful impact in your life? What's the one thing that you could be thinking that would make the most powerful and positive impact in your life? What's the one thing you could be feeling that would make the most positive and powerful impact in your life? This exercise is a jump start. All right, so here we are. So tell me in the comments, I wanna see what is it? Just give me one of those, give me one of those. Debbie, maybe you wanna give me one from Eugene. Karen, maybe you wanna give me one. <laughs> Debbie's in Wyoming. Maybe you want to give me one from there. Karen, Karen knows. Karen's got that key lime pie recipe that you're speaking about, Karen. That's in my little dessert for breakfast recipe. So tell me, tell me what is one thing you could be doing, you could be thinking, you could be feeling, you could be knowing that would make the greatest and most potent impact in your life today, right? Yep, exactly. So practicing yoga, mm -hmm, getting back to the mat, more beach walks during the week. Exactly. Right. Isn't it funny, Starla, how we live close to the most beautiful things in the world? And we're like, ah, ocean. <laughs> it's like, what? Ah, you know, old growth forest, whatever. Right? Ah, the most fresh air in the world, whatever. We just go, we just stay in our house and stay in our rhythm. Vicky says, more consistent with my meditation practice. Denise says, sleep more. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. We're going to talk about that as well. Sleep more. And it's the quality of sleep that means everything. Mary Lynn O'Brien, meditate daily. Uh-huh. Right. And what does it mean? So we talk about meditation. Again, I'm going to talk about how you do, how you do what you do for you. Right? There's meditation where we sit quietly and we're by ourselves. And then how do we move through life with a meditative quality? That's a big part of it as well. Very good. Okay, so moving on. So that's the exercise. This is what I go to all the time. I'm going to refer back to this and you can come to this anytime in your life. Super simple. You can do it sitting on the bus when you ride the bus again. You can do it uh, in, in, uh, in your car when you're waiting for somebody to get out of school, when kids are going to school. Right? You can do this anywhere and anytime. As e if you can do a crossword puzzle in the place, you can do this four pillars exercise in that same place. Karen, more free-flowing yoga and movement. Uh-huh, I know that about you, more free-flowing. And then Debbie says, return to my autoimmune diet, yoga practice, positive thoughts. Look, you got it. See, look at that. So you guys, you got it. Okay, we're going to move on. All right, so you're here today in my experience in working with women uh, over the years in my world. You're here for really one of essentially three reasons. And as I go through these reasons, again, I'd love to see you just drop them in the comments so I can see and feel what are you here for so I can speak to that. Number one, if you're like me, you're longing for a deep and an authentic life where you know your own intuition, like you've gotten to know your own intuition and you respond to it and you honor your body's needs and you stop pushing so hard, right? So perhaps you're longing to live this authentic and deep life, you know where you know your body's intuition and you're honoring your body's needs and you're not pushing so hard. That might be you. Or maybe you're learning to slow down already 
in listening, although it might not come particularly easily for you, you're ready to start paying closer attention and you're ready to stop being dragged into the woods. In other words, being dragged away from the things, the thoughts, the feelings and the actions and the knowings that you know are so good for you and keep you nourished and keep you engaged and keep you vital and keep you healthy and ultimately keep you free because you've been sucked off your own path dragged into the woods by somebody else saying, oh, you need to do this, oh, you should do this, or because you just don't want to be on the outside, you don't want to deal with the ramifications or the repercussions of going your own way, or simply because you haven't quite learned how to listen to that shaky little voice inside of yourself that still isn't quite enough, still isn't quite strong enough for you to go, no, you know what? I know you want me to go this direction. I know you think I should do this, but I'm doing this way and find a peace in that. Or finally, and the third reason, maybe you just don't know, or excuse me, maybe you just know that there is more out there for you, for you to feel, for you to experience, for you to be, and for you to share in this life. And you want to be sure of yourself, for yourself so that you can make the greatest impact in this life for yourself, for your own good, for the good of others, for your loved ones, for the people that you touch and for the good of the world. So tell me which one of these are you, right? Which one of these are you? Are you longing for depth and authenticity? Are you ready to listen to your inner voice and stop pushing? Like in, in Spanish, we say, ya basta, which means enough already. But it's not enough as in sufficient, like reaching that limit. It's like, no, I'm full. Like, I'm done with that. Ready to listen to your voice and stop pushing? Or is it that you want, you just, you just know there's more and you want to rise into your next best and highest evolution so that you can make the greatest difference? Vicky says, I want the deep, authentic life. There we go. Yes. Uh-huh. See, Maria, I'm just going to circle back to you because this is huge, right? To stay positive, even when things feel so hopeless. I'm here to say abso-freaking-lutely. Like that is what this is all about because your immune system is going to function more efficiently and more effectively. There's a whole science behind this, but your immune system is going to function more efficiently and more effectively when you're hopeful period. So it's not that we're going to be hopeful 100% of the time, but we want to be there. Okay, so tell me, are you longing for depth and authenticity? Are you ready to listen to your inner voice and stop pushing? Or is it that you want to rise into your next best and highest evolution? Or if there's a different reason that you're here, tell me what that is, as, as Maria did. I want to hear that. Okay, so some of you may not know me, may not know me well, and so I just want to give you a little bit of information about me. So I'm sharing with you a few photos of my personal life. So here on the right, <laughs> you see me with my partner, Hector, and we are in Troncones, and many of you have been there with, with us. And in Troncones, this is a hot springs that bubbles forth up and out of the jungle floor. And uh, we go to, the, we, we went to this hot springs and we were giving ourselves mud, mud baths with the mud that is actually purchased by Four Seasons in uh, Four Seasons in the area in order for them to use in their spa. So we dig underneath this, under the water, underneath the roots of this tree and grab this incredible clay mask and put it on our faces as we're being steamed by this hot water bubbling forth from the jungle floor. This picture in the middle is me in Japan when I was invited to teach yoga and to do a fundraiser for uh, a large orphanage that's all around Tokyo. And the woman in the pink to my right is my translator, the woman who's standing behind me to my left. She is uh, the head volunteer and the woman who runs the orphanage. And the little boy in the blue shirt with the scowled, scowled up nose, he was with me stuck to my side throughout the whole day when I was teaching these exact practices that were appropriate for um, hundreds of orphan orphans, older, older orphan orphans and the staff in Japan. Uh, and he was there with me by my side all day long, learning and growing and uh, told me at the end of the day that he wanted to marry me. And then this photo of Dr. Deborah Kern. And if you know the woman, if she looks familiar on uh, Dr. Deborah Kern's left, that's Dr. Chris Northrup, Christian Northrup. She wrote Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. She uh, also wrote uh, Women, Goddesses Never Age. And uh, Deb Kern and 
Christiane and myself, we'd gone out for dinner uh, in Portland, Oregon, in a beautiful, clean food restaurant, wide open tables. And at one moment in this dinner, uh, Deb, we were just doing some really heartfelt work and talking about really important things to us as sisters do, because there's nothing like having a place and a solid foundation of sisterhood uh, who support you and love you and hold you through it all. And uh, Chris Northrup in all of this just looked at Deb and tapped her shoulder and said, this is a medical emergency, right? As our hearts were pouring forth what we were going through in our lives. And she reached into her bag and she pull, put, reached into her pulse and purse, purse and pulled out this velvet bag and spread her tarot cards out across, <laughs> out across our food spread. And so uh, that, that's what was going on there. So a little bit about me and, and what I do when I'm not right here. Also, I've taught more than 20,000 hours of yoga and mind-body wellness. I've done clinical research and I've been on, in, in the online industry uh, teaching for more than 15 years. I've lived and I've studied and I've taught across the globe and I really do live these teachings. And if I can say and explain why I'm here and what I want for you, it's because I wake up in the morning before the sun and honest to goodness, 90% of the time I wake up inspired, rested and ready for whatever is coming and I get at it, whatever it is. And if for some reason that other 10% of the time I feel tired or lost or sad or hopeless, I know what to do. And just the same, I get at it because it's not what happens in life that determines how I feel and how productive I am. It's what I do with what happens in this life. So if you miss that, come on back to me. If you're multitasking, please come right back here. I'm going to say that again. It is not what happens in this life that determines how I feel and how productive I am. It's what I do with what is with what with what happens. So why am I here today? Really, I've said it and I'm going to say it again differently because more than anything, I want for you to feel how I know you can feel each and every morning when the sun rises. So all transparency, the content of this particular masterclass is the basis of a new program that I'm launching that begins a week from Monday. It's called the Radical Self-Care Roadmap. And I am here today because I would love for you to join me in this upcoming 28-day program. This one-hour masterclass is most definitely going to give you information that you can run with. And I know the power of showing up for myself with myself in the presence of others for a period of time to learn and to grow and to embody these teachings. And I hope that you join me for this program. But again, this is a standalone. You're going to get a ton out of this <clears throat> if you haven't already begun to feel that. And it will be very worth your time. And you have my word that no matter what you choose, at the end of this masterclass, I support you. And I only want for you to rise. That is my objective in and through. And I fully believe in and through my bones and the marrow of my being that you have everything that you need to rise, everything at all. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to touch into you. So, yes, I want to rise. Me too, me too. Debbie, you're saying return to the energetic person that I used to be, to feel good slowing down. Absolutely. Peace in its own way. Absolutely. Authenticity to myself. That's what this is all about. Peace for all, you're going to, Karen, you're going to get some of that. You're going to hear me talk about that in our fourth pillar. <clears throat> Teresa, we're going to touch on that in our third pillar. Look at that. Uh, you got it. Feel good slowing down. This is it, you guys. I love you. I'm so glad you're here. Very good. Okay, I'm going to take a little sip of my tea. Now let's do this. Okay, so I have a question for you, quite simply. Can you imagine, like just can you literally imagine what it would feel like if every morning you awakened so full, so full, ready to rise and to live your best life because it is actually your life that really lights you up? Can you imagine what it would feel like to awaken so full and ready to rise, like literally rise, jump out of bed and figuratively, emotionally, mentally, spiritually rise? and to live your absolute best life because it is your life that really lights you up. Can you imagine that? 
Tell me that. Tell me that in the comments. See, this is the deal. You know, I keep saying that. Come to me. Tell me in the comments. Keep coming back to me because I just want you right here beside me. I want to just like feel you on a wrap my arm around you. I want to make you a cup of tea and give you a cup of tea, but we're just doing the best we can. So keep on showing up. The more that you engage also, what we know to be true is the more that it comes into your bones and into the blood and marrow of your own being. Now, here's what I know beyond the shadow of a doubt, that being conscious and intentional with your day-to-day -day choices. So I'm going to say that part again, to be conscious and intentional with your day-to-day -day choices of body, mind, heart, and spirit, that this is the single most powerful way to rise into the highest expression of yourself so that you can share your best self with your family, with your work, and with the world. Hmm? This doesn't say that you have to run three days a week, that you have to practice yoga four days a week, that you have to eat a vegetarian diet. No, being conscious and intentional with your day-to-day -day choices of body, mind, heart, and spirit is the single most powerful way to rise into the highest expression of yourself. So here, if you're anything like me, you want to know what are we doing and where we're going. So we're going to go through the four pillars. The first pillar is about your body. The second is your mind. The third, you guessed it, is your heart. And the fourth is your spirit. Then I'm going to offer up some next steps for you. And then I'm going to open up for questions and answers. So if you have questions now, you can write them in the chat and I'll return to them. If you want to just write them on down for yourself and share them in the chat when we get to Q&A, that's great too. So anything goes. You can ask me anything. All right, so we're going to go right into the first secret or the first pillar. This is your body, like no secret, but a huge secret, All right? This is the foundation. Your body is your new or your old best friend. So tell me, tell me, what are the qualities of a best friend? What are the qualities that make some hanyak, as my mother would say, on the street be qualified to be your best friend? Tell me that in the comments. Okay. So, mm hmm right, so they're honest with you, right? They're good to you, you got it, thank you, that's right. Yep, they tell you the truth, that is exactly right. They tell you the truth. So tell me, what is it that makes in your mind and in your heart, when you know you're being a good best friend, what are you doing, right? You listen without distraction, right? You're paying attention. You got it. All right. So your best friend is going to tell you the truth. A best friend is going to have no agenda for you to be different, right? They're not going to try to change you. A best friend is going to do everything possible to support you. A best friend never is going to abandon you. And a best friend wants you to be efficient and clear at ease and productive. In addition to all these other things, authenticity, that's a best friend to be open, to be sincere, and to be fun, right? A best friend is not a drag. It's not so much work to be with that person. There's an ease. They accept and they love you with all their warts, with all your warts. <laughs> I said all their warts. They accept you with their warts too, right? Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so then here's the thing that you need to know. You don't need to be totally in love with every detail or aspect of your body to hear and to heed her wisdom, right? You do not have to be totally in love with every detail or aspect of your body in order to hear or to heed her wisdom. The only requirements, beloved, sister, the only requirements is that you are willing to listen to her. I'm talking her. That you can trust that when she's talking to you, that there's a reason that she is not just talking schmack to talk schmack, that there's actually a reason that you're willing to receive that information and that you're willing to take just the tiniest little step. You're just willing to take the tiniest little step. Step toward what? Step toward integrity. Step toward peace. Step toward joy. Step toward vitality. So are you willing to do this? That's the question I have for you. Are you willing to listen? 
Are you willing to trust that there's a reason? You might not know the reason, but you trust there's a reason that, Brit, that this hurts right now. There's a reason that my eyes are changing. There's a reason that my hair is getting thinner, right? It's true. I'm telling you the truth about me. <laughs> and I'm open to receive that wisdom. I'm not going to pretend it's not happening. I'm not going to pretend it away. And I am willing to take a little tiny step toward peace, toward vitality, toward integrity. How about you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Give me an amen. Give me a yes in the comments. There they come. There we go. Okay, so here's what I have to say. Take good care of your body, beloved. It is the only place you're ever going to live. Now, as Candace, she's one of my soul sisters. She's a student. She's an incredible woman and incredible uh, author and life coach. When I asked her, okay, what is the work that you've done with me in online course? What is the what has this done for you? And she said, oh my gosh. She said, now I start my day off right by prioritizing what I have learned from you and from this program that works well for me and keeps me grounded and productive. And she said, now my toolbox for getting through life's challenges is robust and I know what to do and I know when to do it. And the best part is I just do it and I make way better choices and I take way better care of myself. And that is no longer a struggle for me. It's an honor. Your second pillar, your second secret is your mind, right? So we move on into that. We move on into that. Amen, sister. Amen, De Debbie's giving me an amen, extra amen. Loving that. Your mind. Your mind is your command center. Now note, I'm not calling it your control center because your mind is not in control, beloved. Your mind gives commands. And when you work with your mind because you're not your mind, when you work with your mind, you can command that energy follow attention. And we're going to talk about this. Because energy will follow attention. Wherever you place your attention, that is where your energy will go. And, out, and many of you know this already, but addictions run deep. As if to say, do I have coffee in the morning or does coffee have me? Do I have a second glass of wine or does that second glass of wine have me, like have a grip on me, have a hold on me? And may we see and know when I say addictions run, run deep, it is as if to say what we see as the addiction is like the iceberg above the water, right? But really the reasons for all of that are beneath the surface, are beneath the surface. So in order for us to make lasting change, we got to understand what's going on in here. We got to listen to what's going on in here. And then ultimately, when we do that, we recognize that our mind is actually telling us good information. It's giving us good information. It is not here. It is not here to sabotage us. Our mind is here to report. And it will. And in its reporting, it can become a reliable ally. And if we think that it's going to have control over our lives, and if we think we are what we think, then it will become our worst enemy. And it is not to be controlled, this mind, but it is to be understood and to be respected because our thoughts become things. What we think becomes our reality. So here's what I have to say, and I'll say it again. Turn your face toward the sun and let the shadows fall behind you. Turn your face toward the sun and let the shadows fall behind you. The shadows are still going to be there, right? Maybe COVID's going to be here for God only knows how long, right? A long time. Maybe there's going to be, if not this challenge, there's going to be another, right? As we age, as we get sick and get better, as we have our financial situation go like this, as we recognize everything is impermanent, right? We turn our face toward the sun and we let the shadows fall behind us. When we look at the one thing we could think, if we go back to the four quadrant exercise, the four pillar exercise, when you go back to that and you realize, okay, when I turn my attention to the sun, when I turn my attention to what I can be thinking and I anchor to that, 
that is essentially turning my face toward the sun and letting the shadows fall behind me. Is this, is this resonating with you, y'all? Are you feeling this? Do you agree with me? Tell me that. Are you feeling that? And can you feel that if you mastered these skills, if you mastered and embodied this perspective, how, how different life would look and how different you might move through the world? Tell me that. Uh huh. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm feeling you. Thank you. Good. I'm glad it's touching you because here's the bottom line. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your character and your character ultimately becomes your life. So I like to think of it this way. There's the fun part, right? She wants to be fun. Treat the mind like an unruly husky puppy. We love puppies. We love puppies. <laughs> Treat the mind like an unruly husky puppy. And the mind is not meant to be controlled. It's meant to be redirected. When I trained a puppy, and there's a really great book, by the way, Total Tangent, called My Smart, My Smart Puppy. Uh, I was taught that when my puppy wanted to gnaw, 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 bite with those razor sharp teeth, bite, 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 I'd redirect. I'd put my little finger right in his rib cage. I'd just go, zzz, 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 and he'd go, whoa, what's that? And it wouldn't hurt. I wasn't smacking him. I wasn't spraying water on him. I wasn't doing any of that. I was redirecting his attention. And guess what happened? That redirection changed everything. And then you memorize what works as if to say you look at what's going on. And when something works, like, oh, I just redirected myself. You say to yourself, you feel within yourself, you return to yourself and you go, OK, that really worked. That redirect really worked. It actually really worked for me to turn my attention toward, the, toward thinking a good thing, toward feeling a good thing, toward doing a good thing. And it's not to say that you're condoning what's wrong in the world. No, 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 no. What's chueco, crooked, sideways, off in the world, we say in Spanish. No, it's as if to say, it's as if to say, I'm turning my attention toward the light. And remember when I said those fear, anxiety, worry, they're not in the boat with me. And if they are, they jump ship pretty quickly because I don't feed them. They got to go. They go elsewhere. I'm not feeding them. So I'm not feeding those guys. So I memorize what works. Okay. Then <laughs> here's one for you. Then you choose an anchor phrase. So now you might go back to your quadrants again. And you might look at what am I thinking? What do I want to be thinking? What's the one thing I could be thinking? What's the one thing I could be knowing? What's the one thing I could be doing? What's the one thing I could be feeling? You write those anchor phrases on a post-it note, on a sticky note, on a note card, on a cool thing, on a chalkboard, on your bulletin board in your office, put it on your dashboard, on your refrigerator. My favorite place is to put it on the wall across from the toilet because I have learned, and I tell you there's no better place, I'm not distracted. I am my own captive audience. And when I put something next to me in the, in the, in the, in the loo, <laughs> I remember it. There are things I put next to me in the loo. I can still see them. I can still see the order of them. When I was 26 years old in my little house, when I first moved to Oregon, I can see that little toilet space. I can see what I wrote. I can see that I wrote them in, in colored pencil. And I can see the words that I wrote. One of the things that was there, just to name one of them, is I never quite believed that one chance was all I got. Right? So you choose those anchoring phrases and you put them in all the places. You got that? Number three, your heart. Your heart is your connection to everything. It's your connection to everything. So let yourself be silently drawn to the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. Now, the strange part is important. Many of you have heard me say, if you've worked with me before, that uh, as Vivekananda said, quoting Vivekananda, to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick world is no measure of health. So just because you're normal doesn't mean you're well. So I say, if it's strange and it makes you feel good, go with it. It will not lead you astray. I'm getting some amens. I'm getting some thumbs up. There you go. Deeply resonating energy flows where attention goes. You know that, Sarah. I have a hunch you of songs about that, which you're going to put in, in our 
in our uh, chat at the end. Okay, this is a raw diamond, beloveds. Just like the heart will tell you what is true and real, it's going to do so through your thoughts and it's going to do so through your body. So these things build upon each other, the body, the mind, and the heart. The heart is going to speak to you about what is true and real and what is to be heeded and attended to and what is the direction of your inner knowing through your thoughts and through your body. And your job, your only job, is to pay really close attention. That's the work. So now, here's some ways you do it. You just keep noticing what happens to your energy. Think of yourself as an energizer bunny. Is your battery charge going up or is it going down? When you're in that situation, when you're in that conversation, when you're working on that project, when you think about that person, when you think about da da da, what happens to your energy? Is it going up or is it going down? Notice what happens to your thoughts. Do they expand? Do you see more potential and possibility? Or do you become more and more limited in thought and possibility? And notice what happens and where it happens in your body. Right? Do I feel it in my throat? Do I feel it in my shoulder? Is it in my right arm? So here's the thing. I'm noticing right shoulder. I'm noticing the right side of my right back side of my body. I'm noticing stuff down the right side of my arm. I know why that's happening. I'm paying close attention. I'm studying myself. Why? Because I've been pushing hard, which is okay for a little while. Why? Because I'm creating this program that I'm super excited about that's increasing my energy, that's expanding my thoughts. And I'm noticing this restriction in my body and I know it's short lived. And so what am I doing with that? I'm turning my attention again and again and again to how it is that I bring my body into deeper resonance with what I'm going up, going through. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention and I'm responding. I'm listening and I'm responding. I'm heeding and I'm responding. And I'm looking for patterns. I'm looking for the way in which that I keep thinking the same thing in a multiple in, in a, mul, in a, in a mul, multiplicity of situations. I'm feeling the same thing. How I'm thinking, feeling, and my body's responding in the same way. And then I'm going into that to pay attention, to learn and to grow. So Valerie, who's one of my students as well, when I asked her, so mentally, can you tell me mentally and emotionally, can you tell me how these teachings and how this online course has positively supported you. And she's done online work with me before. She said, I am able to better discern what is true in my heart and come back to my center much more quickly so that I can navigate high pressure situations and deadlines with much greater ease and joy. Now, who doesn't want that? I wanna be able to better discern what is true in my heart and come back to my center more quickly. And I wanna navigate high pressure situations and deadlines with much greater ease and joy. How about you? So tell me this, post your response in the comments. Tell me, what is your heart really long for? When you hear these things, right? there's no wrong answer here at all. I'm not going to say, oh, your heart doesn't want. No, there's no wrong answer. Tell me, what is, what is your heart really longing for that you haven't quite given yourself the space to bring into your life? Share that with me in the comments. So Sarah, Sarah says, when you were speaking about let your life light you up, having enthusiasm and excitement, getting to live each week, that is leaving, giving to live each day. That is gold. <laughs> it's so true. Truth bumps. Yeah, goosebumps, truth bumps. Exactly. It is so true, right? I feel that and know that to be true. My life, I want my life to light me up, right? So it's not about working really hard and then, and then playing really hard. It's not about pushing and then collapsing. It's not about being super happy and then having an emotionally vomiting on, on, on people that I know and I love. No, 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 no. I'm looking for integration. I'm looking for life going from being like this to being like this, right? So tell me, what is your heart really longing for? Uh, to grow more flowers. Literally, I bet, huh, Starla? Grow more flowers. Grow more flowers, exactly. <laughs> that is so huge because that's like figurative, it's emotional, it's mental. So here, I have flowers right here. Right. Dun, dun, dun. I have flowers on my desk all the time. I just um, was noticing this morning that I have this huge bougainvillea tree in my yard. I also have a coconut tree. I also have a, a banana tree and I have an avocado tree as well. 
But the bougainvillea tree is what I was looking at this morning. And what I was realizing with this bougainvillea tree is there's all these flowers. And I'm like, you know what? It's time to put those on my altar, to put those on my table. I'm just super ready for that on my desk. Because for me, it's the same way, growing flowers. Uh-huh. Oh, Karen, uh, not really sure. Haven't allowed or trusted myself enough to know. If you go back to these exercises... I promise something is going to rise up and I'm going to speak to this. You're going to know. I want to circle back to you, Karen, about that if you're not really sure. See flowers. Yep. Circle back to you, Karen, for that. Getting through stressful life situations with grace and ease. Freedom to make and to live your own, my own choices. Yeah. Use that first person, Debbie. Freedom to make and live my own choices. Right. Standing in that. Better work-life balance. So I have more time to do the things I enjoy with the people I enjoy being with. Absolutely. Okay, there it is. All right, so here's the big one. This is where it all comes together. Your spirit, and this one lights me up huge like, because this, we got body, mind, heart, and spirit. What is your spirit? It is your uniqueness. It is the way you do you. It is the reason that one person's flowers is another person's painting, is another person's walk in nature, is another person's meditate in the morning, is another person's... Um, uh, cook, cook is another person sing is another person's play the piano is another person's play with the puppies is another you get it right like uh, embroider. It's like, how is it that you do you? That's your spirit. And there is definitely a better way to do your life. And it is your way. So when in doubt, when you're feeling anything less than 100%, I say, there's a better way. It's your way. This is Liesl. Liesl is Margie Hoffman's little girl. <laughs> Liesl's a little miracle baby who's had a lot of surgeries in her life. And she is a little powerhouse, this one. There is definitely a better way for each of us to do our lives. And that way is your way. I can't tell you how to do it. I can give you lots of options and give you the tools to direct you. And that's what I'm going to do. Because it is absolutely never too late. <laughs> Never too late to follow your own spirit. Oh. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. What did you love as a child? So when uh, when you were speaking here about you're not really sure, Karen, I think that was you that was saying that. Let me double dog check if that was you. I want to make sure that was you. Yes. Okay. Karen, so when you were saying, I'm not really sure. I haven't even really given myself that space to do that. Right? Haven't allowed or trusted yourself enough to know. I ask you this, what did you love as a child? Did you love to dance? Did you love to sing? Did you love to paint? Did you love to draw? Did you love to write poetry? Did you love to have imaginary tea parties with your imaginary friends? I did. I loved tea parties with Halloween and Ramona, my two favorite and only friends actually, but it was enough and they were imaginary because I lived out in the middle of nowhere. I love to dance. I love to put my leg warmers on and put <laughs> crank up music on my on my tape player, my cassette tape player, and put my leotard on and dance. Right. So what did you love as a child? That will give you some insight into what your heart is longing for to return to. And then I'm also going to offer you this: that where you feel small in your life, where you're like, oh, I don't know or I feel a little bit of fear, right? But that is where the doorway is. Lean into that. If you're nervous about that, I can't share my art, oh, lean into that. I can't sing, uh, lean into that. And if you're like, but it's too big, then I say start small, sing in the shower, right? Wear socks with musical notes on them or socks with flowers. Wear a piece of jewelry with a flower on it to remind you, I grow flowers. I grow flowers. I grow flowers in my heart. I go, Starla, this is so perfect. I grow flowers behind the camera. I see flowers and grow flowers on the other side of the camera. I listen to music that inspires me. Right? You start small, you start with the things that make you feel, remember, do I feel expanded or do I feel contracted? Start with those things that make you feel expanded and then from that expanded space, take that expansion and lean into the things that you're afraid of. And then get a little bit comfortable with being uncomfortable. Get a little bit comfortable with things sort of flopping the first time through. It's all right. 
That's how we grow. It's how we learn. Lori Jo Daniels, I love her. She's an artist. She's a nature lover. She's a fairy maker, literally. When she was on retreat with me, she made like we had a whole fairy fairy show that she made of beach things that she found that just like blew my mind in terms of how how it could open my heart so greatly and how watching someone have such creative expression of themselves in the world just totally opened me in all ways. And she said about doing work with me, she said, oh my gosh, there's no going back to who I am, to who I was. There's no going back to who I was. And I'm now confidently walking the path of my own authentic calling. I am so inspired. Follow her on Instagram. She's a, lo <laughs> she's a lovely human being. So here's what I say. Listen to what your body, your mind, and your heart are telling you, and then go in that direction that expands you. For there you will find your joy. There you will find your vitality. There you will find your clarity. There you will find your open heart. There you will find your truth. There you will find your foundation. There you will find your security. And from there you will thrive. Because there is no wrong way in this life. But the better way is always your way. So here's the thing. The only difference, get this, come on back to me. If you're multitasking, I want you here. I so want you here right now. If you are multitasking, the only difference between where you are right now and where you want to be are the steps you have not taken yet. Nobody's asking you to take one step across the Grand Canyon. You couldn't do it if you wanted to. What they're asking, what this life is asking of us, what this life is putting before us at all times through a deeper understanding of our body, our mind, our hearts, and our spirits, through that intentional and conscious attention on the tiny choices that we make, the tiny little steps that we can take every single day. That gets you from where you are right now to where you want to be. Your next steps. So here's an option for you. Here's how I see this. You tell me. You can keep doing what you're doing. And if it's working for you, I say, carry on, champion on. And I say, there's going to be a lot of things you see that you are doing that you want to keep doing. Keep doing those things. And if you're finding that what you're doing isn't really working for you quite to the degree that you want it to be working for you, because you're still feeling like you're living beneath your potential, because you still feel like you haven't quite learned how to slow down because you still feel like you're not listening to your intuition quite to the degree that you want to be listening to it, that you know that you can and you know the power in doing so, or because you still aren't quite living that authentic and deep life that you're longing for. If that's the case, pick door number two and follow a proven roadmap. You can do that as well. This is choice, not chore. This is choice. Margie, this is the mama of Liesl. She said, to say that your program has been a sab to me this past year would be an understatement. It sustains me. It reminds me to live with open eyes and an open heart and to show up and to, the, to do the best that I am able. I feel connected to other women in this program and in my life. And I'm so very grateful that you are choosing each moment to live these teachings and to bring them to light for myself, to others, and in service to the world. So big bow to her sharing this because she is a powerhouse. She is every woman in one woman. This is Margie. She's a Harvard law grad. She's a mama to our, to the toddler, to Liesl. She's an environmental policymaker and she is a powerhouse of a wisdom keeper. Oh, and she's a mom and she's a, she runs, she has <laughs> full moon circles and, and, and she's remodeling her house. She does all these things. And she just like you is way more than the sum of her parts. So when we come into awareness of all these different aspects of ourselves, when we lean into the parts of us that we might perceive as weak links, when we, when we lean into the things that are numbing us out and dumbing us down and we pay attention to those things and we, then we turn ourselves to, we say, yep, see that. I see that I'm doing that. Not going to judge it. Not going to beat myself up for it, but I see it. And then we turn our attention to the sun and let those shadows fall behind when we fill our lives with the higher things and let that which isn't serving us fall away. I'm going to say that again. When we turn our light toward the sun and let the shadows fall behind, when we fill our lives with the higher things and let, let that which is not serving us fall behind, we are way more potent than the sum of our parts. 
I use this word over and over again, and I'm just sharing this because I'm, I'm kind of an etymology uh, geek in this. The word rise, I keep saying, I'm here to help you rise into your next best and highest evolution. The rise comes from the old English word, risen, which means to rise from our sleep, to get up, to stand up, to rise to your feet, to rise together and to be fit. In other words, to be in alignment, not fit like running a marathon, but to be fit to be in alignment. It also comes from the uh, old German Risan, which means to travel and to rise for a journey. It comes from the, from the 1200s to move from a lower to a higher position in my own life, to move upward in my own life, to increase in presence in my own life, to rise in fortune, fortune of energy, of intention, of possibility, of perspective, to prosper and to rise from the dead, to come into existence and essentially to rebel and to revolt. Now, why rebel and revolt? What does that have to do with rising? Right? It's because we're stepping out of the status quo because we say, yeah, you know, I could do that because it would push less buttons. Yeah, I could do that because you're reliant upon it. But what I'm really here to do is to rise into my next best and highest evolution because I know when I do that, ultimately, that's going to positively impact your life, the lives of others that I love, and the lives of the in the life of this world at large. So the question I have for you. And the reason that I'm here as far as being able to share with you next steps is I'm here to ask you, would you like me, me, to help you rise into your next best and highest evolution? Because what I want for you is I want you to take your next best right step. I want you to rise. But that ultimately isn't for me to decide. I can't do that for you. I can reach my hand out and say, come on, baby. Come on, I got something for you and I know it works. I've seen it work, I've, I've felt it work. I can only tell you and show you the roadmap and hand you it and say, come on, let's go. Hand you the roadmap that I have followed and I use and hope that you glean something useful from it and from the journey that I've walked and I've walked with many others. So again, choice one or choice two, you can create a life-friendly self-care program for yourself. You can try to implement these things on your own without this roadmap, without this particular community. You can do that. You can piece together your community. You can piece together the pieces. Or you can come with me. If you decide to do it on your own, you're going to run the risk of waking up perhaps a year from now, perhaps, perhaps two months from now, and having lost ground or you're going to be right where you are now. And if it's not working, I say, why stay there? If you found yourself losing ground, I say, why keep losing ground when there's a better option? That better option is your unique, unique way. And you put both feet in and you commit to rising into your next best and highest evolution. Now, with a roadmap, with a community of like-minded women and with me by your side. So you are invited, all right, I told you I was gonna share this with you. You're invited to the Radical Self-Care Roadmap. This has been an, over a decade in the making and this program is uh, the foundation of so much that I do that has just become second nature to me. And so I wanna share that with you. The Radical Self-Care Roadmap is the only guided program of its kind that not only shows you how exactly to create and implement a life-friendly self-care program, but it also teaches you how interconnected your very own self-care is to the abundance, the meaning, and the vitality of your whole world, making self-care an absolute indispensable part of your life. And I'm here to say you wouldn't drop this any more than you would stop brushing your teeth. That's how important this is. I, pro I promise you. So this is us. So in this course, what are we going to do? You're going to pinpoint what's really in the way of you taking better care of yourself. You're going to do an assessment. There's going to be self quizzes. There's going to be ways in which for you to look at your life. There's going to be little exercises that are just going to take a moment or two of your time each day for you to turn your attention toward the sun and let the shadows fall behind. You're gonna put into practice these daily self-care 
practices, if you will, that don't feel like another thing to do, but instead they raise you up in the morning with the sun. They raise you up in your life and in your mind and in your heart, inspired and ready for whatever life throws your way. You're going to build a foundation for vitality, for ease and for impact in your life through small doable steps. And all of this is going to help you jumpstart your health physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And then at the end, you're going to have in your pretty little hands, the end of this 28 days, you're going to have the most amazing body, mind, heart, spirit, personalized, do it your own way, practical, radical self-care plan that you'll be able to take with you into your life and tweak as you shift and change. There's four modules body, mind, heart, and spirit. We've tasted those today. You're going to have 12 lessons. Again, as I said, there's gonna be quizzes and PDFs and supporting resources and easy peasy ways for you to implement what you learn as we go. There's time for practice and implementation. There's daily morning check-ins that are gonna be with me. I'm gonna to come to you bedhead and pajamas, sweaty post run from my altar, from my yoga mat. I'm gonna to come to you every single day for these 28 days and give you your little exercises walk you through those exercises. Everything's gonna be available to you on your back page, on a private web page, and you're gonna be just dropped beautifully and gorgeously into an already made community of like-minded women who are walking by your side and with me who are already there. There's already women in our private group and they're already sharing their uh, successes. They're already sharing their challenges. They're helping one another. They're walking with one another. They're laughing with one another. They're inspiring one another. And you get all of this. And then again, you get that dessert for breakfast that I mentioned, that little recipe book. And here's what I want to tell you. So if you think for a minute, yeah, that's Brit. Like, I don't, I'm not Brit. I'm not you. And you might think that I innately have something that you don't have. I have a particular perspective or I have tools or I have guides or I have resources. That's just not true. The only thing that sets us apart is I, over the course of my life, have developed a way that works for me. I have a roadmap that I follow every single time I'm ready to rise in whatever way I'm being called to do so, and I use it. That's the only difference. So there's more bonuses if you join me for this program, and the second of which is uh, for the whole year, Right after we finish the Radical Self Care Roadmap, you are going to be able to join with me every month in 2021 for a live Q&A in a private community where you can ask me anything. You can bring your struggles, your challenges, your roadblocks, and I'm going to do everything that I can to help you untangle your limiting beliefs about time and energy and whatever it else, whatever else it takes for you to live your best life. You're going to be able to look close at your life, returning, reset, refresh every single month. And this is going to set you up to take the very best care of you. I promise you that. And then if you're like, yeah, you know what? I'm just not sure. Guess what? There's a seven day money back guarantee. If you do the work and you're still not satisfied, all you have to do is just show me your efforts. Show me the efforts within seven days. Of, of enrolling for the program uh, of when we begin and I'm going to gladly give you a refund no questions asked I'm just going to say show me tell me what you've done show me what you've done that's going to be great practice for you to go oh you know what this is what I've done and then you're going to get a refund that's it your next bonus is I'm going to take you with me into my kitchen for the radical self-care kitchen class. Now, this is what students ask me for more than anything. They're like, will you teach a cooking class? Will you teach a kitchen class? I want to know more about what you do day to day. So I'm going to bring you into my real life with my recipes and gadgets and products and a few of my favorite little meals and snacks and smoothies and hacks. And this is one you're not going to want to miss. I've not done this before in this way. And it is exclusive to those who do Radical Self Care Roadmap. So here's what it looks like. You get your dessert for breakfast, you get your monthly Q&A, and you get your Radical Self Care Kitchen class, and you get the seven module, 12 lesson, me with you every single day for 28 days, private website, private community that's available to you 24 seven. You get all of that. And it doesn't go away at the end of one year, or excuse me, doesn't go away at the end of uh, 28 days. It's going to be there for you the whole year. And you get this for $249. That is the price of the program. 
just wrapping it around if I sell and have sold these things separately, the pieces that I have sold separately, or if I were to sell them separately, it would be over $800. And so knowing that we are in times that are more challenging and also knowing that uh, I want anyone and everyone who's able to do this to do so, the price is 249. 28 days, four modules, 12 lessons. This is the Radical Self-Care Roadmap. So that's it, beloved. So I'm gonna offer up that this is a great time for, uh, for questions. I'll just scooch on through these. This is how you register, actually. You just go over to the registration page, which is at BrittBsteel.com, Radical Self Care. I'll put it in the comments here. <laughs> And then uh, you're going to click through to register, make your payment. Some of you are already in here. Starla, yep, so fabulous about you in the kitchen. You're going to be there with me. And then you're going to join our Facebook community. There, there's people already there. They're in there and waiting for you. We've been, we've been waiting for you. And so I'm just going to remind us that why we're here. I think you're here because you want more than anything to live an authentic, meaningful, good life. And you're ready to take that next step. You're ready to start listening to your intuition and take better care of your, taking better care of yourself. You've just had enough of not doing that. And you know that you are living below your potential in some way and that there's no better time than now to change that. So with that, questions and answers. Please offer up your questions and I'll give you your answers. Starla, when do we begin? We begin on the 22nd. Thank you so much. We begin a week from Monday. So what's going to happen is those of you who are already registered, you are going to, <laughs> I love you so much, Sarah. Uh, Sarah can put right now, Sarah, Sarah and Starla, both of you lovely ladies, I want you to write what you do, what you do, like toot your horn, because I'm on, I want you to toot your horn because I love you both so much and you're both such amazing people. Starla and Sarah, toot your horn, toot it loud. Do, 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 do to your horn and put your website here for us. I wanna see, I want others to see what you're doing. So please do that, put that in the chat right now. And then please ask me your questions. What are your doubts? What are your concerns? Here's one I've gotten already. I'm already feeling exhausted and overwhelmed. What if I don't have time to do this course? So here's what I'm gonna say. This course is here for you for more than 28 days. This year is course for this this course is here for you for the whole year. It's going to be here and you're going to be able to touch in. The modules are going to be short. You're going to be able to listen to them on your walk. You're going to be able to listen to them while you're getting ready for work. You're going to be able to um, touch in for a moment here and there in our private community. You're going to be able to watch the videos on Facebook. They're going to be short and sweet. They're not going to be long like this. They're going to be five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. They're not going to be long. They're going to be tiny little bits and pieces. If you don't have the time I'm here to say it's going to be spread out. I'm also here to say the irony in this is that when you begin to implement the tiny little things, the exhaustion and the overwhelm goes away. And you find that the places and spaces where you're wasting time and energy actually are devoted to turning toward your energy toward the sun. And those things that are making you feeling feel exhausted and overwhelmed that you may not even have identified yet, those things no longer have a hold on you. So the exhaustion and the overwhelm is replaced by these good and powerful and potent energizing practices. And then if you don't have time to do the course, remember you have that opportunity for the 100% 100 uh, refund. It's there for you. What if this course isn't a good fit for me? Same thing. You're going to know that. You get seven minutes. You get seven minutes. You got seven days in. You're going to get seven days of training, seven days of teaching. You're going to get all the bonuses. You're going to get all this stuff. It's going to be there for you, right? And then whatever, if seven days in, <clears throat> whatever you have not yet received, uh, you, you'll just, how do I say this? You're going to get your money back. That's the bottom line. You're going to get your money back. All you do is you just send me an email, show me the work that you've done and everything that you've received up to the seven day point is going to be right there for you to keep. No questions asked. And we just we just keep on rolling. That's how it goes. There's no risk. And then finally, you say, I've tried online courses before and it wasn't a great experience. And I'm here to say this is different. <laughs> This is different because it's super authentic. I'm just here with you. I'm right here with you. Like I said, bedhead, I'm here with you. I'm going to cut right to the chase. I'm going to go right to the 
soul jugular and I'm going to be like, you know what? This is how we get there. This is what I've seen what works in my own life. <clears throat> Drink some tea. This is what I've seen works in my own life. This is what I see works in other people's lives. This is what I know to be true in my bones and in my blood. So again, wasn't a great experience. But the other thing I'm going to tell you is I'm not going to let you fall away. I'm going to be here every single day. This is not a pre-recorded program. I'm here with you every single day. I'm here living these teachings with you every single day. The women that are here, they're here to support you. They're here to share. You're going to learn from them. You're going to grow from them. You're going to be fed and nourished every single day. So you don't fall off the wagon. So you don't get left behind. And if you get left behind or if you fall behind, all you have to do is say, hey, and guess what's going to happen? Me, all these women, we're going to reach on back and grab your hand and we're going to go, come on, come right back here with us. There's nothing that's, you're not going to get lost. If you show up on day 26, no worries. You're going to get day 26, 27, and 28, and then you're going to have day one through 25 to return to again and again and again. And if you're like, ugh, this isn't a great experience for me, I say, I love you. I support you. All I want for you is to rise. And you get a refund. Like, you get this, there's no risk. Zippo. So that's it. That's all I got for you. I'm just going to pull out of this. So look, this is what Mary Lynn, she's right here. She said, I'm so in. And she also said, and I'm quoting you, sweet Mary Lynn. She said, learning from Brit is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Mary Lynn is one of my soul sisters. Mary Lynn is a retired pediatrician. She is a rock star in her, she's a queenager, we like to say, in her 70s. Um, Never have I known a woman who, never in my life have I known a woman who has two knees, two knees in her body that were not hers originally, right? Who can still hike and ski and walk and run and do, not run, right? Maybe you're not running. You could run though. I've seen you run. <laughs> but you're, you're still skiing. You're still skiing. You're doing all these things. You're still in your Spanish lessons. You're learning and growing. You're sitting on boards of directors. Like you're all those things. And we all have that potential to do that every single day. Do I have a website? Sarah. Yes, Sarah, share your website. Thank you. Starla, share your website. Vicki, what time of day are the classes? Dick, Vicki. Vicki, the classes are going to be in the morning. So you're going to have a back page that's going to have recorded information that's going to be there. That information is going to be pre-recorded and you're going to be able to go into that whenever you want to 24 seven. I'm going to show up live every single morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. But here's the deal. More than 70 percent of the people who do online work with me do not show up live with me. But it's all there for you to go back in and it feels like it's live and you're going to ask your questions. If something comes up, you're going to ask a question and I'm going to be there every single day. So I'm going to answer your question. So even though the live piece you might not be able to be there for, like you can just imagine if you were to watch this session, this hour long session, an hour from now. And if I were to still show up in the comments and respond to your questions, what would the real difference be? Huh? So 8 a.m. Central Standard Time and it's going to be available to you 24 seven throughout the entire year. Okay. Will there be another start date? Time is definitely an issue for me. I'm balancing 10 hour work days, exercise, pre-cook pre -cook, pre for the work weekend and a class that ends in 10 weeks. Ah, so De Denise, will there be another start date? Right now, there will be. I'm sure that I'll offer this again. I just don't know when. I don't know if I'm gonna wait a year to offer it or I don't know if I'm gonna offer it again in the summer. It's gonna probably be six months I'm guessing it's going to be six months before I offer it again. I may offer it again, but this, this, this I know for sure. This time, it's going to be 249. This time, it's going to start on September 22nd. And what I would say is at this price point and to know that you get it, this would be the time that I would suggest. Otherwise, um, if it's a year from now, if I don't offer it for another year, then again, you run that risk of waking up a year from now and not having made any progress versus make a little bit of progress, show up whenever you can, however you can, and then know that you're going to be able to start your 28 days. So let's say you come in and you drop in 10 or 12 days and you don't do all the things, but you do a little bit here now and again. 
and you get those things and those benefits from the practice and from from the partic from participating in the program you do that now and then then when you finish your course in 10 weeks if you're like i don't want to wait for it to start it's right there for you to begin and you can begin it and then you know that you're going to get this price you know that you're going to get this program when you want to start it so that's what i would say but yes i will do it again i just don't know when all right so that's it gotta run now thank you guys i love you so much starla's gonna run i'm gonna run too i'm just right here i love you thank you uh, any other questions, please email me and you can sign up now. Registration is open at BritBSteel.com Radical Self Care. It's there and we start a week from Monday. All right. Oops, I'm going to pull out of here, get myself back so you get my screen. There it is. All right. So I love you. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Yay. I'm glad you feel supercharged by this. Very good. Okay, so that's it. I love you. Have a glorious day. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for sharing my Saturday with me. It means the world to me that you took time and time and energy out of your day to be here. Big love. Mwah. Ciao.